I forgot to do it before, but this is during. So it's a uh, brush on gear. You brush it on, you leave it a few minutes and then you agitate it a bit more with a brush. That was really rusted out, but that's now coming back quite nicely. So with a bit of luck, this should all, this should all work quite nicely, I reckon. You brush in the solution and then you just give it a little brush on just agitate it into the rustiness. Once it's all eaten through the rust and made all the material stable, we can hit at it with some Scotch Bright or some uh, light grit sandpaper, key the surface a little bit. And then, uh, then we can hit it with some paint, hopefully. That's it, done with dabbing, come back in five. We're after about half an hour of wire wheeling and messing about. I think we're ready to clean down and get some paint on it. Got all of the rust off it, as best as is possible anyway. Um, it's only on the steel parts, it's an alloy casing. Aluminium casing, so bit of good beast in with the old airline. Get some of this uh, panel wipe on the dude. Give me blue rag. New box. Give it a real good wipe down. And then uh, make sure the temperature's all right in here and give it some paint. Basically it, uh, that's one go over. You just gotta keep going until those rags don't get filthy when you're wiping it. So it's getting cleaner as, it, as we go already. That's only had like a quick little go, but like we just go over that piece there. You can already see there's very little residue starting to come off it. So you just need to keep going basically until the whole thing's coming off like that and then it's all good. I won't bother recording the rest because I'll be here all day. So it's got a fresh rag, some fresh, on it. Just go over all the main big areas, wiping, and then if it's that clean, hopefully she is uh, now good to go. So yeah, nice. Just warming up the paint. We've gone for the very high quality Halford's own brand, very high temperature paint. Now it should work. It's only a gearbox in it at the end of the day, it's no biggie. Temperature wise, we're looking all right. 17 and a half, just over. Humidity levels are respectable, considering it's a damp house garage normally. But I've had the heat around here for a while, so. Got some masking tape around the place, covered up all the switches and any threads on the outside. There's like a, a stud there, so I've covered the threads on that. Covered the holes, to the diff on each side. So, no spray paint can get inside or anything like that. Let's send it, make it good. Shiny, shiny. Okay, that will probably do for its first dusting. Give it a real light coat and let that start to tack up for a few minutes, probably four or five minutes, and then uh, go at it again. This is when you realize though, all the dirt that's still stuck to it, you can see it. 
a lot clearer when you've painted it. <laughs> right now I've done the top, I'm going to flip it over so I can do the rest of it. Like so. Mark off. I'm on I've been drinking on driving my taxi and speeding. I swear that I ain't going home. If you're over my phone, it won't leave me alone. I'm like, see if I'm like Coke and Patron. I'm on that Coke and Patron, Patron, Coke and Patron, Patron. Ta -da. How about that then? Can't talk for long, it's got to put my mask back on. That looks pretty good. That's all painted up. It's dry enough to start pissing about a bit again now because, as I said, it doesn't need to be amazingly perfect. So, time to get the old billet engine mount back on. Not an engine mount, is it? It's a gearbox mount. Um, anyway, that goes on there like that, and then those two bolts there go through there and hold it on. Interesting. Weirdly though, I don't know how right this is, but I'm going to drop those bolts through. You can see, well, I suppose that front hole there doesn't look very deep. This one's probably got a bit more meat in it, because when you look at how far the bolts come through, one goes down through a hell of a lot more than the other. And it's all as per the kit instructions. So, yeah. you know, you see that 10 mil the bolt sticking out still, so it's still gonna go in good. But this one's got a freaking shitload compared. But, so it should be good. Yep. And there we are, folks. All done. All back together. Put the bracket on for the shifter cables. Put the mount on, and I've also I'm taken all of the masking tape off, and also um, put the refreshed or refurbished, whatever you want to say, clutch fork on. So a nice smooth action on that. Not sure if that rubber's in the right way around. I'll have a look at that. I've got another box just there, so I can have a look at that one to make sure it's the right way around. But the spring's gone over the ball on the back there, so that's in the right place. Tiny, tiny little bit of lithium grease on the surface of the uh, shaft there for the bearing to sit on. All good. It's looking pretty good, I reckon. Definitely looks a lot better than it did. So we. Uh, happy boy, it's going to look pretty sweet in the bay of the EK Civic once it's uh, found its way onto the engine. Good stuff. This is what an old one looks like. To be fair, mine was never that bad actually. It was slightly nicer than that. Someone had had a go at the wire wheel already, but oh yeah. Sweet.